Hello, I'm Marcel Lord. Welcome to the HDS Epoch. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. But first, a word from our sponsor, Flow. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 350 local anywhere calls and texts. With the always-on prepaid plans, all for $25. Keep your number when you switch to St. Lucia's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Welcome back. Many bus operators throughout the islands continue to complain that they are being singled out and unfairly treated by police. Wednesday's incident involving the Viewford minibus operators and the police is the latest in a recent string of such cases. So we asked you, do you think that minibus operators are being unfairly targeted by the police? We tally the numbers on our online voting platforms and here is how you voted. 46% of you said yes, 37% said no, 2% had no comment, and 15% did not know. We also took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. I believe that if minibus owners or drivers do what they have to do, they won't have problems with the police. What I feel about the police force is that we have too many rogues in the police force too many men in the police force that believe that they are over the law. If your job is to serve and protect, your job is not shoot to kill. I believe if you have those kind of people in the police force, what the police commissioner has to do and the justice minister is to erode those people in the, in the police force. Yes, I believe so. And I think um, them police officers, they want to abuse the power, some of them. And I'm calling on uh, Mr. Shiko because he needs to control his officers. Because you see them officers, they believe they're above the law, some of them. Well, they are not in fact targeted, but what I say is the police officers out of Vietnam should behave like the Americans, do their work professionally, so that all these little problems we have will, will not happen, you know? So if they were no more professional, ID and all of these things, then I believe it will be even better for all of us. First of all, he did not identify himself so he should not go to the extent of engaging any catastrophe with the minibus driver so that it would have escalated to proportion. He, I find he should stand on his ground, identify himself, because as I stated, instead of upholding the law, they are the ones breaking the law. And they believe that they have great upper hands because they are within the sector of the law. It's high time for people to take note and know we are all human beings after all. And uh, quite a number of them love to go to the extent of insulting your mother, which is precious too you and theirs are so precious like gold that you cannot return the same as they are doing to you. Because when I look at the situation, the police should address himself in a respectful manner to say, describe himself, say who he is, whether he is a police or uh, whatever, he should show sign of ad ad identification. identification of himself. This is not right. To my feeling and to my knowledge, this is taking advantage over not the drivers alone, but over we all St. Lucians. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. Former Minister of National Security, Dr. Keith Mondesi, has once again called for stiffer penalties for illegal gun-related offenses. Mondesi recommends that persons found with or having discharged unlicensed firearms should be imprisoned for between 20 to 50 years. So we ask. Do you support the former minister's recommendation for far stiffer penalties for those found guilty of illegal firearm offenses? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsalucia.org or Facebook at hdsalucia official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584-4HDS. That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, here's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your flow handset, text your EPO response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes, 2 for no, 3 for no comment, and 4 for I don't know. Join the discussion from your flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our EPO team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results. 
and a new discussion.